A conservative organization issues a scathing report on the decline of K-12 education in Maine, blaming part of the problem on Maine's education system embracing far-left ideology. As CBS 13's Brad Rogers reports tonight, the State Department of Education and the state's teachers union strongly disagree with these findings. Scores are down. Behavioral issues are up. Jonah Davids wrote the report as a researcher for the conservative Maine Policy Institute. In it, he outlines dozens of reasons for the decline of K-12 education in Maine. The report cites the National Assessment of Educational Progress, whose test scores in Maine were among the lowest in the nation during the pandemic. But the Maine Department of Education says the Maine Policy Institute report is based on data from tests given to a small percentage of Maine learners and has proven not to be a valid or reliable measure of state performance. The Maine Education Association agrees. You can play with data and do all sorts of things with them, right? The report also cites a state survey that found nearly half of all high school girls in Maine feel sad and hopeless daily and nearly a fourth of them have seriously contemplated suicide. Improving these numbers must be a priority, and involving parents is key in riding the ship. Teachers are no longer expected to act as instructors. We have to be therapists, social workers, and other, and that just takes away from the content. The author of the report says instead of focusing on math, writing, and reading, federal mandates are forcing schools to focus time on gender, sexuality, and race issues. The result? lower school standards and poor student performance. Our schools now prioritize an ideology focused on identity and emotions instead of the essential skills needed for successful life. We're still focused on academics and teaching academics. It's just that there's more to teaching and we know more about how students learn and what they need to be successful in their learning. Raising teacher pay is one area both sides agree on. Despite a rising cost of living, Maine teachers are the lowest paid in New England, earning $8,000 less than the national average for teachers. Lawmakers passed a bill to raise teacher pay, but the Appropriations Committee has yet to fund that bill. Brad Rogers, CBS 13 News. And a reminder, our Crisis in the Classroom hotline is always open. You can call us if there's an education story you'd like us to look into. The number is 207-200-3380.